So this book really tries to weave together into a narrative the stories of about well, the stories of twelve uh, individuals, uh, men and women, uh, children, adults, uh, people in different social classes, uh, passengers and crew. The subtitle is The Last Night of a Small Town, and that comes from a book published by Walter Lord in 1955. And some of you might have seen the film of the same title, which came out in 1958, uh, starring Kenneth Moore. One of the things I try to do is to create a more balanced narrative. It seemed to me that Walter Lord focused very much on first class, on passengers who were uh, British or American, uh, he didn't say anything much about children. Uh, he didn't say anything much um, about people in third class. But I was also interested in the idea of a small town as a kind of a metaphor, because it seemed to me to encapsulate a lot of the themes that interested me. Things like social class, gender, uh, work, uh, technology, uh, migration, perhaps the idea also of a town having both a both a history uh, and a future. One of the things I also try to do in the book is to take issue with Walter Lord, because it seemed to me that uh, although perhaps he's a good storyteller, he's not actually a very good social uh, historian. And it seems to me that a lot of the historical claims that he makes are actually uh, unfounded. One of the things I have been doing since uh, finishing the book is looking at some novels based on the Titanic, uh, particularly Beryl Bainbridge's book, uh, every man for himself. And although she doesn't acknowledge any historical uh, sources, she does draw on uh, three of the stories that I use. But actually, I don't think there's any need to write a novel about the event. Uh, the story is uh, dramatic enough.